I'm gonna remove this cannon from my back. I don't know whether it's making me move slower or not. I'm just gonna equip a pistol. Uh, and then I'm also gonna put on my best fire defense outfit. Fire. Ooh, there was a 60 and there's another 60. Anything better than 60? We got this 60. We got this one. And then we got this one. This one's pretty crappy. Um, I guess I'll go with the old hunter cap. Okay, fire. Ooh, 80. Anything better than 80? Ooh, 100. Sweaty clothes. Doesn't have much physical defense, though. Oh, this has a 110 fire. 140? Well, charred hunter garb. I might go with that. Where was the 130? Yeah. I think, uh... Charred hunter garb might be the way to go. Charred hunter gloves. Charred hunter trousers. There we go. Okay. So, this fight is going to be pretty annoying because it's not a really long run, but it's longer than I would like. Plus, there's all these dudes in the way. Like, this guy is probably going to shoot me. Which is pretty damn annoying. Okay, I got past him. Um, and then here, I can't just run up the steps because the ball... Or can I? Let me see what happens here. Okay, here comes the ball. Here we go. This should work. Okay, good. Oh, psh, they're not even dead. Ah. They hurted me. Okay, well, at least that hunter didn't follow me up here. Okay, so now we go up here, and then we have, we have... Really, we have to wait for these guys to open this door every time? It's pretty annoying. Hmm. Are they dead? I guess they're dead. Are you just gonna stand there? Jeez, I didn't know that did that. Dang it. Oh, God. I, oh, get out of my way. Get, uh, get out of my way. All right, I need to get up here. Doggone it. Now I gotta waste some of my uh, health. And what sucks is that he does come up here. Got me again. I hate that I have to fight him. Ah, oh, damn it. Using up all my freaking blood vials before I even get to this boss. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> gave me some blood files. I don't want to have to fight him every time I come here. Come on, Valter. I don't know if there's anybody else I could summon. Guess not. Huh. Well, there she is. There's the bell ringing woman. Why does she always ring a sinister bell? Look, he's gonna go take care of her. Man, she's got a lot of health. <laughs> okay, thanks, dude. <laughs> Alright, he was like, screw you. Huh. So, I guess... It hasn't happened to me yet, but apparently... When you ring the hunter bell, she shows up and rings the sinister bell. Which should bring... Um invaders to your world, but it hasn't happened to me yet, thank goodness. Alright, let's try this. I don't really know what... Eh. Oh. Stupid fire thing. Looks like he's posing. Oh! Nice! 
Okay, not sure how I managed that, but that was pretty cool. It would be neat if Vulture could get his attention, and I could do that again. Nope. Oh, ah, that hurt. Oh, up, 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 up. It's like it's stupid now. That's a lot of flaming going on there, but uh, not a lot of damage. Huh, I'm not sure why I'm not getting the uh, visceral there. Seems like I would, but hey, whatever. Oh, what's he doing? He did something. Oh, damn it. It's coming for me. Go get him, Falter. Go get him. There you go. Oh, that hurt somewhat. Whoa, that was scary looking. Oh, whoops, whoa, 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 whoa! I guess that lava, you don't want to stand in the lava. Oh, he's like oozing lava everywhere now. Hmm. Huh, how am I supposed to get close enough to him to hit him? With all this lava running around. Damn it. Don't like this. Oh, did not expect that move. Shockwave there. That's gonna hurt. Get up, dude. Whoa, 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 projectile. Wow, that landed on me. Oh, gosh. It was close. Uh. Damn it. I'm not sure how we're supposed to get close enough to him to do anything to him. Vulture's almost dead. Ah, hell. Ah, hell. Oh, oh, oh. This is kind of stupid, really. Redirected his spew. Oh, oh, this is freaking annoying. Ah. ah. Oh, crap. And here we are again. Oh, that did nothing to him. I wanted to try that black sky eye thing on him just to see what it did because I haven't used it before. It does nothing to him. Jeez, that's ridiculous. Oh, I thought he did three swipes. Did I hit him? Not sure I did. Oh, 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 oh. Careful, watch out. 
Uh-huh, stop that. So Black Sky Eye doesn't do anything. I'm gonna try this Phantasm Shell and see if it does more damage. Uh, I can't really tell. I wasn't really paying too much attention to how much damage I was doing before, to tell you the truth. Whoa! Yeah, visceral him. That was a pretty good amount of damage. Huh. So it looks like you can visceral him if you hit him in the head, maybe? Now oh, that hurt. I'll stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You need to calm down, dude. He does get more aggressive at this point. I missed him. Oh, he stepped, he stepped on me. Did I hit him? Yeah, I did some damage to him. Get up, up close and personal with him here. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Ooh, look how tall he is. Ooh, that guy hit him in the crotch, it looked like. Oh, okay, so with Phantasm, that, that attack was doing 800. Without it, was doing 788. So, not that much of a difference, really. But, I'll take what I could get. Okay, so he's uh, spewing his, um... Oh, his lava now. Oh, oh dang it, the lava got, lava got me before I could get my head off. Hang in there, Volter. Oh, damn it. Come on, let's hit him. Okay. This is kind of tedious. Oh, uh, this looks like it's going to be scary, and it is. I can't get out of the way. I can't get out of the way. I can't get out of the way. I'm staggered. It's pretty annoying. Oh, quit it. Come on now. I'm just trying to kill you. You act like I'm trying to... Well, I'm trying to kill you. Oh, oh. Oh, dude. Dude, chill out. Oh, jeez. Chill out, dude. Man. Oh, come on. That almost killed me. Oh, great. That, that did kill Vulture. Ow. Eh, let's use my shell again. See if that helps any. Oh, he's gonna puke. It's a good time to hit him. Dude, 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 dude. Oh, don't stand on the fire. Oh, oh. Okay, let's get away from him. Oh. Ouch, ouch. Man, that's so annoying. The staggering from the... Uh, fire. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> yeah! Alright! Beast's Embrace. So we got a Carol rune from him. Ooh, that was pretty cool. You know, that was actually my only my third time uh, trying to get him. Of course, I did have the help of Valter. He does help an awful lot. Oh, okay. Beast's Embrace. Let's check that out. What is that all about? Beast's Embrace. Embrace Rune. Assume the form of a ghastly beast. Temporarily... Or temporary boost tr to transform plus 15. I can't even talk. I don't know about you guys. Do you guys get, like, super... Um, like a, you know... A rush of adrenaline when you're fighting bosses in this game? I have a hard time coming down from that. Beasts Embrace. After repeated experiments in controlling the scourge of beasts, the gentle Embrace rune was discovered. Gentle? With, uh, when its implementation failed, the Embrace became a forbidden rune. But this knowledge became a foundation of the healing church. Those who swear this oath take on a ghastly form and enjoy accentuated transformation effects, especially while wielding a beast weapon. All right. Well, let's go back to uh, Hunter's Dream, and um, we'll put on that. Uh, we'll put on that rune. It is the scourge of giant beasts. 
No mercy for giant beasts. And we'll put that thing on and we'll see what it looks like. I don't think anything else happens up here. No? Okay. Fear blood. Bless us with blood. Okay, back to Hunter's Dream, not Hunter's Nightmare. Oh, let's go ahead and equip that rune. See what see what we look like. See if we turn into something different. Uh, it's in this slot. And beasts embrace. Ooh. <laughs> Check us out, man. Check us out. Oh, cool. Look at that. Oh, wow. That is cool looking. Yeah. Nice. I wonder, I wonder if I could put a hat on. Oh, I'm wearing a hat. I guess it doesn't matter. What hat you put on at all? No. Nothing well, doesn't make any difference. I wonder if you still get the uh, benefits of what you're wearing. You know, like if I wear the uh, uh, hunter hat or the old hunter cap, if I get better fire defense, even though you can't see it. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, so with these uh, runes in the uh, DLC, we get to be a beast and we get to be a kin. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, all right. Um, well, as far as I know, that is the end of the DLC. I don't know of anything else to do or anywhere else to go. Um, I'm not interested in trying to level up in the League. Um, you know, we, we saw the League, we met Valter, we, uh, we uh, called upon uh, the Confederates' assistance in uh, several boss battles. Uh, we crushed a vermin and went back and talked to Valter again. Uh, giving us the uh, gesture and the staff. Um, so I feel pretty good about that. Uh, we've defeated um, all five of the bosses in the DLC. Uh, I believe we have uh, explored every area of the DLC. And uh, I, I was super impressed. It was, it was better than I thought it was going to be. I heard it was good, uh, but I also heard it was short. But man... Um, it wasn't short to me. I was surprised at how long it was, actually. Uh, happily surprised, because <laughs> I just love these places that these guys create, and uh, the Soul series are some of my favorites. Some of my absolute favorites. I, I love the the, the uh, game mechanics. Uh, I love the areas they create, and even though I almost never understand the stories, um, not completely anyway, I really, I really, really enjoy these worlds that they create. So, uh, I'm going to end this DLC here. Please feel free to leave in the comments if you feel like there's something I missed or if there's something that you'd like to see me do. Maybe I'll put together another one final episode, um, since this seems like it's kind of ending on a strange note. Um, or maybe it's not. I mean, if, if you think about it, this DLC was placed in the middle of the main game. Uh, I mean, you access the DLC after beating Vicar Amelia, and that's, that's, actually kind of early in the game really so if you played the game from the start with the DLC it kind of fits in um, except for the fact that you have to be a really high level to do the DLC um, so I don't know maybe it's not so weird that it kind of ends on this note but um, I guess maybe it seems weird to me because there's no credits rolling so like I said uh, if there's something that I missed something you'd like to see me do uh, let me know and I'll consider putting together another uh, uh, final episode for this but uh, as for right now this is the final episode of the Bloodborne DLC the old hunters uh, I thank you so much for joining me I hope you enjoyed it uh, I know uh, seems like some of you did I got some really good comments uh, some great comments from you guys and some of you guys out there really really know your Bloodborne lore so I, I thank you for sharing that with me um, let me know uh, what you thought of this playthrough in the comments. Uh, if you played it, um, what you thought about the, the DLC, whether you liked it, didn't like it, uh, did you think it was uh, long, short, uh, just right? And um, yeah, I'd just like to hear from you. If you if you watched the whole DLC, I'd like, I'd like to hear from you. Um, and you know, if you've watched this and you're not a subscriber, uh, why not consider subscribing so you could uh, stay on top of all of my great content that I'm always posting here on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope that I will see you again in another Let's Play soon.